Hi guys, welcome back to my episodes of Fear the Walking Dead, episode 2 of season 2. The opening episode was actually very good. Um, the problem being is we've not, we've not really come across this before with this world, whether it be this show or the other one, being at sea, which comes with all its own complications and dangers. And Alicia talking to this dude on the radio, I think, has outlined <laughs> just exactly what people are capable of, as we already know, how far they'll go, and when it's all gone to shit, they just want what you've got. Simple as. that. That's the simple nature of it. Um... Him throwing himself overboard hasn't helped. All those people are dead with their capsized boat. And we don't know if whoever it is who's on the way, on the radar, that that is what they did to the last lot of people. We have no idea. I don't even know where we're going to pick it up. I'm expecting we're going to pick it up right there. Anyway, let's go find out. Episode 2. Why? That doesn't make sense. Why would they be at the beach with like buckets and spades and shit without anyone with them? You would not be doing that now. They're right on them. They're right on them. That was well concealed. Bastards. Yeah, well you almost got yourself killed. You almost got Travis killed. We're still trying to help people, aren't we? Yes. How was that his people fault? People that we can see. According to this, the Leanne just came from the south right there. Uh, Wait a minute, I thought you said San Diego was safe. I wouldn't take this as a gospel. And what kind of weapon would you suppose be big enough to sink that boat? 50 caliber machine gun. Military grade. The kind of weapon that could only be mounted on a larger vessel. Larger vessel. And it's faster. Fine. Where do we go? Matter of time. Matter of time, then. We hide. We'll lose them on the radar if we stick to the coast. We're gonna land soon. Get away from us out there. Got your breath. But you can bet your bottom dollar See, they've think? seen you coming. We know you're scared. <laughs> we are too. Not the way to handle it. We just need information. We need help. Always the house with the kids. Harry. Okay. Harry. All right. Get back here. Sorry, he's excited to see people. It's been a while. George Geary. What can I do for you, Travis Manawa? We had to drop anchor. It's no safer on sea than on land. You have nothing to fear from us. That's usually what the guy, bad guys say. Don't say that. <laughs> we left when they started bombing. Napalm. It's what they're using up and down the coast. I've been checking in with some of the other ranger stations. Makes sense. South. San Diego was burned. Interior's no better than the coast. Last time I connected to Joshua Tree, ranger said, petrified forest, gone. JT shut down soon after. So was it always a high school level? Did you ever work with younger kids? No. Never had the chance. He had to become problematic once to become this teenagers. My eldest, <laughs> Seth. Seth, this is Madison. Hi. You good, Mom? Yeah. Where's Dad? Um, he's in the study with her husband. He's understandably being protective. All right. I'll be back in a little while. I'm starting to understand this world better. After all your mother and I did try to protect you from a certain life, this is not the world that you were supposed to know. It's OK. All right. You're doing it wrong. We have to go like this to jump. And then that to grow up. All right, OK, OK, OK. <laughs> Nick, you want to come see our room? Yeah, let's do it. And who are these guys? I'm in the head. Wow. So he's yeah, not completely oblivious. I know, because I have power pills. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> what the hell is taking them so long? You got somewhere you got to go? They're busy sitting down and having a glass of wine. Target practice on a $10 million boat. What are you planning on leaving behind? What's happening 
It's not natural, man. Well, it couldn't be more natural. The world couldn't sustain itself, so it stood back and said, enough. Yeah. So that every life cycle begins and ends on the same sacred earth. That's beautiful, man. I don't really mind now, does it? And it's right. We had no idea what kind of hell might come off that boat. We found new friends. They never go to the mainland. Never? Yeah. He told you that? He believes a man's connection with his land. She turned the light on on purpose. George said it was an accident. I, I, she knew what she was doing. They have seen more than their share, you know? Like what they're living in now and what they're gonna live in, like it's... If they live, yeah. I don't know, things are never just gonna be normal for them, you know? No. I know it was quite an action-packed, quickly story moving on very quickly in the opening episode. This one's what... This is very slow, this one. Wait for something to develop here. What are we doing? Maintenance! The current dropped them up here. My dad says it's a tidal anomaly. All from that ship, yeah. He didn't go that way. He's on the boat. We're on land. I looked over the boat. Then he's on shore. You want me to help you find him? I am at risk, youth. <laughs> That's good. Simple, socket, base of skull up their backs to you. Been preparing for this kind of thing forever. Really? He's like a survivalist? His nah, dad is. He's just self-reliant. Deliberate living, you know? Yeah, you see his dad is. You know he'll have That's a problem that. with this. Come back after lunch again before dinner. Bring the axe back when you're done. Have fun. Chris, what are you doing? Being of use. Come to the boat, huh? Yeah, I will. Come on, please. Chris. In a minute. Mow the lawn. Take out the garbage. Yeah, you know, well, that's gone. This room, cleared the dishes. That's, this is... The new way of things. Weekenders, question of surrender or survival, acceptance or denial. It's not right or wrong, good or bad. Just is. It just is. <laughs> How can you just give up? Oh, I'm, I'm not, not giving, giving up. up. The Our friend is gone. Heading towards the coast. We sail with the tide. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. We should be leaving soon. Should have left hours ago. It's a short trip. I saw you from the pier last night. I watched you on the deck with the binoculars. Maybe Will and Harry would, would have a chance. The kind of chance they're not going to have if they stay here. They're going to be in far more danger sure. if they leave here. I turned on the light. No, we're just biding our time. Yeah, it's far more dangerous biding out there. Biding our time till it's over. I don't agree with this. This is part and parcel of the problem here, is we're at the point where people aren't ready to let go yet. But we're also at the point where, like this woman, she feels as though escaping where she is, that her husband's not, not, she's not forcing them to stay. They're not caged. They're not locked up. But he's seeing that staying where they are is probably the safest, best option. And she's all going on about, oh, well, they might have a life and I want my kids to grow up. And I'm like, you're like, yeah, but you, if you've not left here, you don't know how bad it actually is out there. And for each day and week and month that goes by, it's going to get worse. The best chance you stand is staying here, unless you absolutely cannot stand your husband and you need to leave, then you leave and you take your kids with you. But thinking that they're going to continue on, as Nick was discussing, these little kids, they're not going to have a life, they're not going to have any under that normality. No, they're not. And I don't think it's any of Madison's business, really, to be sticking a nose. Well, what about George? If we could take all of you, wouldn't he agree? To George is not going to leave this place. No. He thinks it's better to die with family than to die with strangers. They even have power. And they have infected. All along their fence, other so than the marina, how long do they make their way So fucking country there? woman. It's not secure. Yeah, I know. I talked to George. He's got strong opinions, but all the man cares about is keeping his family safe. That's all I care about. Where we land next could be safer. What Aww. we find could save us. All of us. We don't know. Okay, let me talk to him. He's having a bit of a nosy. 
The dude's Ooh. hiding something. Ooh. Huh. Didn't tell us you had that full mag. I think this asshole's planning on Jonestowning his whole family. What? I found pills in his office. I think it's poison. I wouldn't get involved. If that's what the man wants to do, that's his choice. Um, There's no law to... Stay here. Don't move, Harry. Stay right there. <gasps> She's top oh, pills. Baby. What happened? She's top the pills. She took her pill. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. Oh, yeah. Well, go, go. He knows what to do. They turn. They that has proper us. gone south. On, He's going to take care of his wife. Madison, what have you done now? I don't know what he'll do. We're taking him with us. We have room. Put him back. We found him. Stop! Oh, get back. son's there. Get back! Shit! Look, there's no home anymore. Shut up! You don't know what's back. Shut up! Listen to me. I know it's there. He taught me. Well, he changed his mind. Just let us go home. Just let us go. Well, that was futile. And now because we've hung around for so long. Papa, Mira. Wait. Yeah, keep looking that way. Pretty rough. Okay guys, episode two. A lot of that was quite slow burn, but it was leading up to uh, a rather depressing story, which, as I said, you know, there's two ways of looking at that. Had none of our group turned up here, they would all be alive. Guaranteed, or at least for the time being, whatever the man had chose to do. And I don't mean this because he's a man and he's head of the family. I'm not being male chauvinist here. I'm saying whoever is the strongest person of the, the, of the nuclear family of, you know, it could be her. Um, but things have gone to shit so quickly. And she felt as though their children, their youngest children in particular, obviously the elder son was already with her, with the father. That much was obvious that there'd be some sort of life for them. Because she's not able to read and see and have the experience of what's going on in the outside world, even though she's hearing about it. It's one thing to see it. It's one thing to want to hear about it. But by our group turning up, and her begging and pleading and giving signals, like with the light and everything, and then Madison sticking her nose in where it doesn't belong, led to that catastrophe. Because without Nick being there, she wouldn't have found the pills, blah, 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 it leads to be, it leads to see. So, meanwhile, they were taking their sweet ass time just doing all of this. They'd got the information that they needed as to where they could head and where was safe and where wasn't. Hours ago, they sat around talking and letting her plant flowers and drinking wine. And, and Daniel and Strand are sat back on the boat waiting for them to come back because we don't know where this other vessel is. Just because they've moved inland and, and initially gone off radar doesn't mean that whoever's in charge of this boat hasn't the common sense to realise that you've vanished off radar because you've headed inland. So they're just going to do the same until they locate you. So that threat still hasn't gone. All we've ended up with here is a dead child and a dead mother. And now it's going to be down to whatever the father does anyway. So that was a that was an example in futility, pretty much there, other than gaining the information that they've got. We're going to move on from that. Um, there's not really an awful lot more to say to it other than that. Uh, a lot of the episode was quite slow. I was wondering where they was going with it. I don't know, maybe watching The Walking Dead have become a little bit hardened to 
having to watch something like that where kids are having to kind of sort of be present and witness to not really understanding what's going on and someone else has to take like a parent out of theirs or something but I mean had you left with him and that and that and him, the, the eldest son not come running after you and you would have left with the younger boy that is dead weight and regardless I am with Strand with one thing <laughs> as he eloquently put it it's my boat and I'll say again it's my boat you're free to do what you want but on here my rules are the word of God so it's up to you what you do that's the world interesting um I don't know where we're going to go from here. I'm intrigued to find out. Uh, but unfortunately, that that came about through Nick's continued <sighs> demise of... Not demise, demise is the wrong word. Uh, uh, continued descent in from being a, a, an addict and trying to minimize the effect for as long as possible even though we all know at some point there is going to be nothing more left and it could be days or weeks or months before you come somewhere across under some supply somewhere where you happen to manage to find a few pills here and there by which time you would be over it if it doesn't kill you first <laughs> oh dear right i'll be right episode three in a few days time all uh reactions are available on youtube playlist is always full uncollect for uncut versions available on patreon share the link in the description as always i would appreciate uh especially if you're a walking dead fan and you enjoy this series as well if you can give the channel a quick sub and i will see you for episode three next week take care Don't...